Hello Collective, welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We're doing your reading for the week or whenever you find this reading. Remember if it resonates to so please hit like and subscribe and if not you can always book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower links below in the description. Make sure you stay till the end where we do each individual sign. So what does my collective need to know this week in love? What's coming towards them? I'm loving this fall weather you guys. So someone's going through some drama here, could be with their family, and someone is charming you. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting that you have like a family that's full of drama. They're probably trying to bring their shit to the table and you are like getting away from it. You're having a good time with someone else at this, this week or next week. What's the overall? Single, blocked, storm warning. Yeah, that's what I feel. <laughs> Some of you are blocking these people out of your life right now. You don't want to hear their drama. You don't want to be a part of it. It's not your problem. Some of you too, you could be finding out that um, someone that you had blocked is still trying to get a hold of you or is calling you from a different number. But let's take a look. Mm-hmm. Then I'm hearing too for some of you, and this is only a handful of people, um, someone's family drama is like blocking the connection between you and someone else. What is single blocked in storm warning? Look at this. Communication, expect a text, a call, or a confession. Regret, missing you, self-sabotage. And surrender, flow, trust, go with the flow. Hmm. What's at the bottom? We have leaving behind, leaving what no, but no, no longer serves you and healing the inner child shadow work. So this isn't your story anymore, but this person wants to communicate with you. They want to tell you that they're single. Maybe you did think you had this person blocked. And like I said, they're probably calling from another number. What's drama? Attraction, wanting more insatiable thoughts. Temptation, physical love forbidden. So someone, because they're having these thoughts about you and they feel the temptation, they want to come in. And they feel like you could be a soulmate and they want to compromise and come back in and make it work. But for me, this is saying that you're meeting your soulmate or you're aligning with this energy and this person's trying to come back in. Mm -hmm. Some of you are building a family. You could be finding out you're pregnant. What's family doing here? Look at this. That's what I mean. This is you going towards your soulmate. And this comes out again. Compromise. And this was someone that ran away in the past. Okay. But they feel like you had a past life connection together. Or they're trying to make sense of their feelings for you. And that's what it feels like. Okay. What's charming? Oh, we got Chaser coming for you. Determined and in pursuit. With release, move on, let go, trust your angels, and trust that you're guided. So I feel like you're telling someone else this too. If they are trying to uh, chase you, you know that this person is more about the physical versus the actual stepping in and playing the role of a committed relationship. And someone is chasing you with a charming energy. They want to date you. Some of you could be in this relationship now where you feel this divine connection to someone. And this person, again, is like in this demon mode where they're activated to come in and try and chase you again. And you're like, no, I'm not doing it. I've already released you. I'm trusting that I'm guided. I trust my angels and where my love life is going right now. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, if this was a family situation where the family was getting in the way of something, I feel like this person is telling them to back off. What is communication and regret? Someone someone regrets the things they never said. That too. It says separation, sadness, missing you, thinking of you, yearning, unsure of the future. And not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call, a person, boundaries, still angry. And then we have self-indulgence. Focus on your self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. Because you are going towards more of a passionate connection with someone else. And this codependent person is trying to chase you who doesn't make healthy choices in life. Mm. What is attraction? Wanting more with temptation and drama. Look at this. Meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. So they're going to try to come in as a friend, but really they are still very heartbroken. They're sad about the separation. They feel lost and they're grieving you. 
with addiction, they do have this codependent energy and they're very possessive towards you. They want to control something and their block is probably a sex addiction or always needing attention. What's family with soulmate and compromise? Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union with not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, ego issues, or fear, ego issues, and jealousy. So this person, again, that wants to compromise with you now that you're ascending into this divine connection does have very serious um, self-sabotaging issues and low confidence but they want to compromise and it's like no look at this keys on a ring many options unconventional string along one night stand now if you are in a relationship with someone or you have like a family i feel like these are negative thoughts that you're releasing okay like don't always think someone's cheating on you this person's probably not all right it's probably this person deflecting the energy towards your relationship what is chaser and release it says talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hovering, and endings. I knew it. This is so cohesive today. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. And then we have mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection with girl talk in the reverse, mask, and a narcissist so yeah you guys have let go of a karmic relationship from the past you know that this person is self-absorbed but they're still going to try to love bomb you and i feel like they do want to show their true feelings but there is something too about um someone that's not happy single okay they're not and i feel like they're starting to see that you block them and they're freaking out and so the storm warning is just telling you that this person's about to let it all out they're going to reach out to you um, they don't like being separated and it does have something to do with them trying to break up a connection you're into. Mm -hmm. So you've been warned. <laughs> this person is not liking that you're sending without them. And they're very low vibrational at this time. No, thank you. So let's get into the tarot. And see what else you guys need to know. Okay. But I feel like if you know you have a weakness for this person, just be aware that they're going to come in very charming and try to charm your damn pants off. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get into this reading. What is coming up for my collective? What do they need to know? in love this week or this weekend what's coming up for them all right you guys have the four of swords and the fool this is your new beginning this is like carefree you're getting your rest you're you're in a recovery phase that's leading you to something that's just i feel like new opportunities taking these leaps of faith you could have had a rough last four months or you've just been in a hermit mode and you're going towards, like I said, something very new and beautiful, new opportunities, and you're not afraid. Who's coming towards the collective? We have the Six of Swords and they are like, I feel like they're looking your way. And the Ten of Cups. So if there was complications in a connection with someone here, we got the Four of Wands. This is also, I feel, about contracts when I look at this card. So this could be um, some of you buying a new home. This could be moving in with someone, but someone's ready to get past the, the mental blocks. They want forward movement and they feel like you're their, their true happiness with this Ten of Cups. Like you fulfill them. You're their peace. And they feel like it's a divine connection. What's crowning? Okay, we have the Hanged One. The Ace of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. Yeah, someone's really confused because you're moving into, like I said, a divine connection with someone where there's commitment. Um, for some of you, this is just, I love this, Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups today. What's behind that? The High Priestess, the Nine of Swords in the reverse, the Six of Wands in the reverse, and the King of Pentacles. So it could be that someone didn't want this victory for you. They didn't want you to find this person that's going to commit or they didn't want you to boss up in some way but you're getting it and this is confusing them that you just walked away that you're not talking to them you're silent 
Um, but this is meant for you. This Ace of Wands is amazing. This is a new passion within you. It could be creativity, but someone's still hung up on that. And they're still hung up on the idea, I feel, of playing with your mind. But this person that's coming in, I feel now, knows what they want. They're very clear-headed about it. Look at that. As soon as I split the deck, Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, this could be a proposal. You could be planning on having a baby or just growing something new. Someone could be also proposing or bringing you some kind of gift. What is the outcome? The Five of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Emperor in the reverse. So this could be an Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Five of Wands is in the reverse. This person's realizing they can't bring toxicity into your life. I'm also hearing this could be someone who's divorced, okay? Someone could be trying to um, pocket watch you as well. Two of Cups is here. King of Cups, King of Wands, and the world. Yeah, they're trying to find solutions here because some, this is the person in the background, the third party. It's like if you are in a marriage or a commitment, they're still reminiscing about the past. Six of Cups here. They're trying to break up this divine connection. They're trying to think of ways to do this with the Five of Swords here. They could be very catty. They know that they've lost control in a situation and they have a lot of conflict and they can't decide what to do after the mistakes that they've made. And I feel like this is the person or the energy that's around you at this time. It's someone that loves you deeply or sees you as this energy that loves them wholly, fully, and very passionately, who wants to take the lead. But this could be two love options for some. I'm, I don't feel like it is. Um, but again, it could be. And you're feeling like you're on top of the world. You've completed a lot of cycles. This is like a new you collective. And this is attracting a lot of love into your life. But someone was trying to pour in toxicity. And I do feel like it could have been with gossip or hurtful words or negative thinking because they don't want something to end i just saw the ten of swords and if you've been worrying about money you can stop doing that now all right <laughs> that's what i feel here and this is someone i think too who's very stubborn childish they they know they've lost power in something so if someone was trying to compete with you they know they can't anymore yeah you've had an awakening here mm -hmm. and this person I feel like they're starting to see they're at a dead end because we have the Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. They're trying to decide what to say or what actions to take, the Five of Cups in the reverse because they feel like they have the power to change this relationship, but they haven't gone through the transformation. Death card in the reverse. And you're, you've got your blinders off if you did have them on before, but this is your time, collective. And they need to know that. Okay. Let's clarify. I like this reading this week, you guys. This is good. Very positive energy coming in for you. Just want to slide it over a little bit. There we go. So, okay, shuffle again. <laughs> You're the boss. Yeah, someone needs to release, it's like to to release the need to control a situation and this will help money flow to you a lot easier. What's the Four of Swords with the Fool? We got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles in the reverse. What is up with all these kings with temperance on the bottom of the deck? Hmm. So this could be someone here who was very materialistic in your energy. They're very unstable. They're corrupt in a lot of ways. And then with the King of Cups, it's like, again, someone that loves you very deeply, wants, wants this successful relationship with you, wants balance. Hmm. Now, if this is you guys, I feel like there's, a, like the men, I feel like there's a masculine that compares themselves to you a lot because they don't feel as financially stable, but they don't know that it comes with your heart chakra, who you are, you know, you, you're not materialistic like them. And so they need to figure that shit out. That's not your problem. Mm -hmm. But if you're a feminine, I do see that there's like a very materialistic person. They could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Even though they're in the upright, I feel like there's someone that's very corrupt in their own way and they know that and they're silent about it. What else do we need to know here? Oh my gosh, the fool on top of the fool. I'm telling you, this is a new beginning. And then the page of cups is in the reverse. 
Whew, page of swords in the reverse so these energies have their eye on you heavy yeah they're trying to figure out you know what's going on here I, you know what i'm ready to say something i love the collective i know that they had love for me at one point in their lives okay they're very much i feel realizing that you've slowed down you're healing and you're going towards probably your north node at this time and it scares them but this is your new beginning you've earned it Okay, and you are going to have a lot of new opportunities coming in towards you. But someone here feels like they can just come in and take this leap of faith. And I feel like they're being a little bit naive about this with the Page of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. And two, someone's afraid to trust. So that's coming up as well, too. So this person's realizing that they could have taken this leap of faith with you in the past, but they were afraid to trust. And I feel like they were being blocked because they're a corrupt energy in general. And they're still watching. What's the outcome of this? What's the general outcome of this for my collective? The Queen of Swords in the reverse. And then we have this Page of Swords in the reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles is coming out. So it's like there's also a feminine bitch who is comparing herself to you too. Um... She could be a Pisces, Aries, and it's like strong jealousy here, okay? Very manipulative. This, this could also be a divorced feminine energy that's had a lot of disappointments. They feel trapped in their thoughts. They're not opening themselves up. And then I'm hearing this could be like a feminine that was hoping that your person would offer them love, and they're not, okay? I'm hearing that too. So someone's just... Someone just heard about this. Yeah, they're trying to figure out why you have the gift, why you have all the passion, or why someone's so passionate towards you. I'm getting copycat too, so this person might have tried to like mock your energy, and they can't. Mm -hmm. What's the Six of Swords with the Ten of Cups? I feel like if you are in a connection, someone's wanting to move in with you, or maybe go somewhere. It's going into the next phase of the relationship. This person could want to take you on like a trip too, like a camping trip. You could be having a fire with this person this weekend. What is this? The Five of Cups in the reverse. The Temperance in the reverse. So someone can't control the idea of getting this back, having you back. Because the Five of Cups in the reverse tells us like, oh, we can recover this relationship. Um, I can I can let go of the doubt of this person not loving me. But there could be like, a, I just feel like this person is very imbalanced mentally. And this is what they're trying to move on from. Is that you and this person are going to have this Ten of Cups. Strong Sag and Scorpio coming in here. We got the Hanged Man again. And the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's like they're even laser focused on this new person you could be dating. And they're hoping that if they come in, you will decide between them. But there is no hope to heal this connection because your true Emperor Empress is coming in. So someone is losing hope here. But it's probably a good thing. Okay. And what am I feeling? Yeah, it's like someone knows it won't be a success because you, you, you're you done. You've moved on from this. Yeah, you're vibrating at a higher level with openness and receiving and that's why you're manifesting <clears throat> this ace of pentacles or just i feel this could be a job opportunity for you guys you guys could be healers but you could be finding out you're having a child that's not going to be for everyone but i feel like this is your gift from universe and people are just trying to come in and stop this healing process with you and your emperor or your empress or what you're trying to manifest and they can't mm -mm. Someone's also just, <laughs> I told you, they can't look. <laughs> and someone is just stuck, period. They're stuck in this idea of coming back to you, even though you're going towards the Ten of Cups with someone else. And that Ten of Pentacles, don't forget that. Look at this, the Seven of Wands in the reverse. So I'm getting a Sag, airy, strong here that is realizing they have to give up. So these could just even be energies around you that are realizing, okay, you know what, I need to surrender. I need to quit doing this. And they don't know how to protect their energy either. And they were hoping that you wouldn't, but you are. And mm. I feel like someone's pissed your angels off too. If I'm being honest with temperance in the reverse, a lot of the time for me, that can be your angels coming in. 
So someone wanted you to stay stuck and, and not have any boundaries so that they could come in with this love offer. But little do they know the person that's coming towards you has this like clear they know what they want period and so do you so that's what's going to happen okay what is the hanged man doing here yeah i feel like they're still trying to tether to you they're ch still trying to find you you could be having dreams about this person and that'll be your sign okay the six of cups in the reverse the four of wands and the Ace of Swords in the reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So this, and there will be justice here, okay, for whoever this is. Someone is very passionate about you. They can't stop it. We got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So you could have walked away from this Queen of Wands in the reverse, which a lot of the time you guys know that this is the other woman. This is also someone that doesn't take very good care of themselves physically, um, and they don't know what they want, okay? I also get two. This is someone that likes to copycat other people's creative ideas, and you're like this king or you're, you know, this is the, the person that you're going to be dealing with and they only have passion towards you. So this could even be someone's ex that they walked away from in the past and they're still watching like they can't stop. They need help. OK, um, they're abusing it is what I'm hearing. So again, justice is coming in and they're getting their karma with the wheel in the reverse. This could be someone from your childhood or someone you knew from the past with the six of cups. It's like they lie to themselves about your stability and who you are with the four of wands and the ace of swords in the reverse. Okay, and that's why they're still trying to latch on to you, but they cannot. Spirit's about to whoop that ass. Yes, they are. And this is about Libra season too. So this person's getting their karma during Libra season. Look, because you are the empress or the emperor. I keep hearing copycat, copycat. So I don't know who this is for you guys. You'll know. <laughs> What's the Ace of Wands? Whoa. The Empress in the reverse. The Five of Swords in the reverse and the Moon in the reverse with the Devil in the reverse. What's behind that? The Seven of Cups in the reverse. Yes, I feel like you're vibrating too high and these people can't find any way into your energy. They're not allowed to meditate on it. They're not allowed to attach to you anymore. You're not attached to this energy where I feel... Um, it could have been easy for you to be manipulated in the past, okay? You could have let go of addictions or things that didn't serve your, you know, you, <laughs> period. And it's done now. For some, this could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. It doesn't have to be. Mm -hmm. Taurus, Cancer, Pisces. But yeah, that's what I feel. It's like... This person's now seeing, and even after Virgo season, I feel like they're seeing you're on a different level. They can't come in and take from you. They could have been trying to manipulate your money or stop your growth with your money here with the magician in the reverse. Yeah, but you went through a transformation. So whatever they're doing isn't working with the chariot in the reverse. They're being stopped. They're, they're coming to a halt is what I'm getting here for trying to stop your growth. And they were pocket watching you for sure, for sure. And now you're vibrating so high. And I do feel this is a divine connection. And I think we got the King and Queen of Cups in the last reading too. You don't have to be water signs. I'm just getting it's a very loving and deep rooted relationship where you can share each other's feelings. You're not afraid. And this person, like I said, wanted you to be stuck in something. Mm -hmm. But this will all be revealed to you or these energies now that they see like... I feel like this Ace of Wands is so powerful in your life. And the passion between you and someone else is so strong. It's unstoppable. Mm -hmm. You both inspire each other and you're both like manifesting this, this new relationship or a renewal of a relationship. Hmm. Someone's also jealous they're not the Empress. Okay, they abuse their power. They're a horrible mother. That's what I'm hearing. Someone was a horrible mother. Someone could have had mother issues. What else am I getting off of this? They were. They were deceitful. And this is all coming out. Their deceit is coming out. The devil's been beat at his own game. Okay? And like I said, it's after Virgo season that this all happened. So I hope they're ready. What's the Seven of Cups? 
That's how these people are going to be looking at you now. Okay? Mm-hmm. Like, how did you get this? How did the collective win this? How did the collective... It's like, get out of here. Whoa, what was that? Yeah, the two of wands in the reverse. These are people that don't know how to make a decision in their life. And the emperor is in the reverse again. And you know about this. Your intuition is telling you you already knew, but you've been blocking these energies out. All right, let's see. What is the seven of cups in the foundation? The four of cups in the reverse. The queen of cups. And the ten of wands in the reverse. And the three of pentacles with death and rebirth. What's behind that? The king of... Yeah, for some of you, this is somebody that... Ugh, this is our narcissist. This could even be like a couple of people watching you here, like a, an old divorced couple. They can't believe that you've grown, you've transformed after stalking you, watching you. Um, they see you coming up in the community or they see you going out. They see you finding new love options. What is the Four of Cups in the reverse? What is this about with the Queen of Cups? Someone is just jealous that they're trying to lay some kind of burdens on you and they can't. You you have found balance, you've let go. And I can't say it enough. So like I said, they're confused. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this could be like a, someone with a blonde or brown hair. I'm hearing that too, I don't know why. Let's see what this energy is over here. What is the five of pentacles in the reverse with the emperor in the reverse? Oh, <laughs> this person is not right, okay? They want to be a leader and they can't. No one's listening to their bullshit. Their crown is falling off. Yeah, the nine of swords and they're losing it. And they're still watching because they wanted something to end for you, especially if you are in a commitment or a marriage. This was their hope. All right. They were hoping they could stop something from coming towards you financially or in a relationship. Yeah, look at this. Yep. There's also this like I'm hearing too. some of you could have like a disgruntled neighbor or just someone that isn't happy for your ten of cups because I get community here with the three of pentacles and like people watching your relationship or your marriage and not wanting it to to grow. Yeah, it's like they want this divorce or they want this ending. They don't want to see you change. Yeah, seven of swords is in the reverse here with the king of wands in the reverse behind that. So this person is going to learn a hard lesson for being the hoe that they are. Mm hmm. And they're seeing that whatever they did isn't working, that you and this person are just growing together. You're doing more. <laughs> And that there is no renewal for them. It's it's just not going to happen. What is the judgment? You have such a beautiful renewal coming into your life. It's like because you're vibrating at this, this frequency, something beautiful is coming in for you. And I feel like it's from your ancestors. It's from God. You're divinely guided and protected. Yeah. You're seeing that these people are about to lose it because they're still confused. They're lost. And like I said, it could be a group of people. It could be this queen of wands in the reverse here that's watching you, seeing how happy you are, seeing that someone has more passion towards you than, than them. All right. But they're about to find out. Okay. They are. And this for me is the hoe of the deck, okay? When she's in the reverse, otherwise she could be beautiful. She takes good care of herself. She washes her ass. You know what I'm saying? But this, this person doesn't. I'm seeing someone that's losing all their enthusiasm and they're forced to see this change, but they're not trying to look at it, they're, but they still do, okay? And they're like, why didn't something work? They're confused about this, but they see that you're building, you're rejoicing, you're celebrating, and they're losing everything and they're confused about that, which we saw down here too. Okay. What the hell? Yeah, I feel like wh whatever this person thinks that they're doing isn't working. Okay. They're still very passionate towards you, which I just, I feel like I just saw that tea leaf card where they're like, um, strong passion or hate towards someone. It's like, get a life, bitch. You got to get your own shit. 
get your own creativity and find something to do. So you might have known someone who was trying to copy you too. And it was just like, they still can't find the answers. They don't know what the hell they're doing. All right. What does the collective need to know this week, Spirit? What messages do we have for them? Anyone sending any negativity towards my collective? Send it back. Threefold. So mode it be. We have bag, something important such as a new job or a raise. We have target, a goal-oriented person. See, that's what I mean. Because you have your goals aligned, good things are coming for you guys. We have handshake, meeting or um, meeting with a stranger could be important. And this could be someone overseas, too, for some of you guys. Like, you could have more businesses or corporations reaching out to you, wanting to do business with you um, if you are an entrepreneur. But some of you, this could be, like, a big pay raise at work because they see that you're goal-oriented, you're on target. We got the dark man, dealings or relationships with a dark – or with a man with dark complexion or hair. So if you're into – you could be this masculine or this could be the masculine that's coming into your energy here. We have tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead. So you could have waited for this for a long time and it's finally here. And then we have persevere and you will overcome any problems. So they're saying stay on target too if this is if this dark man is an energy that you know has been waiting to like come in and fuck with you and throw you off. And then we have a change for the better and a period of prosperity and abundance. And then look at this. We have temporary situations in the reverse with good fortune for leaf clover. Woo! I love this. Positive energy today, you guys. I do feel like Libra season is bringing a lot of fairness and justice to all of us or anyone that was like trying to create drama. Let's see what this person doesn't want you to know here. What does this person not want my collective to know about them? Clean eats, modifying diet, healthy lifestyle choices, nurturing the body. So they know that you've changed something about yourself, okay? Or they see this, like this is what you're radiating. We have flatlining, losing interest, feelings are fading, drifting apart. And vibe, sensing something, unexplainable feeling, listening to intuition. This is so you guys. So like I said, healthier choices drifting away from these people and they know it um this could even be someone you're dealing with that's completely interested in you and leaving all their shit in the past but someone is just jealous of this and i feel like that's the cards on top of the the main reading red flag warning signs take heed risky situation so they feel like they won't be able to get you in a risky situation again we got subliminals, low-key digs, passive-aggressive behavior, calling someone out. So if you have a channel like me or um, this person's constantly watching it or if you're on social media, it's like, or even an influencer will say. They could even just be sitting at home looking at you on their phone or computer and they're always talking shit. They're like talking shit towards you and it's just backfiring back to them. And then we got extra, yeah, overdoing it, trying too hard, unnecessary and dramatic. So you already know about this, you guys. I think that's why it like triggered you to just, I feel, work on your heart chakra, clear your mind, take that moment of rest that you needed. And now that you're like taking this leap of faith towards what you truly want, these people are super extra right now. And I'm hearing as the fire's coming out of his mouth, like this person's spitting a lot of bullshit. So I feel like there's a feminine that might put, you know, shitty comments on your stuff and then you got a masculine here who won't shut up about you and they're overdoing it because they see that you've completely detached. All right, what else is going on here? Dirty money, yeah. This person, I'm also hearing if they're like trying to do something creatively like you because we got the Queen of Wands in the reverse so much, they can't. And they're about to get in trouble for laundering, thievery, like trying to copy you or doing something illegally. I'm hearing someone didn't have the rights to something and they're going to get sued. Lipstick evidence, infidelity, caught cheating, betrayal. And so that's probably why you had to leave this feminine or masculine behind. You knew that, like I said in the beginning, they were always wanting more and more. And they're having setbacks the more they talk shit. They're facing losses, they're off track, and they're having a lot of delays right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It says high vibing, good vibes, living to the fullest, enjoying the present. Flashy, bougie, over exaggerating status, fake flexing. Mm -mm. Yeah, this person is. It does not have money. Okay, they're they're being very fake about this. Um, not that it matters, okay, but I'm just saying this person is trying so hard to be something that they're not and it's just making things worse for them. And there's the spark, instant click, soul recognition, unexplainable pull. So the more they get extra on this person that you're vibing with, that you have this spark with, the more that they try to mess with your high vibe and how you're doing healthier things in your life, the more they get set back. Yep, someone's stuff is getting repoed here. It says default on payments, financially incapable, repossessed assets. Then we have codependency, unhealthy attachment, weighed down. No filter, authentic, it is what it is, sugar-free and blunt. So spirit's saying right there, boom, they're not going to take it easy on them and you're about to be blessed up. So appreciation, gratitude for blessings and receiving blessings. Mm-hmm. They better get with God. <laughs> forgot gets them out what else what is coming towards what the hell are they doing outside today oh i bet it's my neighbor mowing their lawn they need to get that damn mower checked out put some oil in it or something it's running hard <laughs> shit let me turn this down a little bit to you guys because it's early in the morning, so I had the brightness pretty high there. What else does the collective need to know about this? It says wave of emotions, worry, fear, love, hate dynamic, emotionally unstable, which again is taking me back to that flow, surrender, go with the flow with the person that was missing you, but you are in tune. It says in tune, balance, cooperation, peace and harmony. And love struck, unexpected love, love at first sight, fast moving relationship. And it's like killing this person inside. They were playing events over and over, overthinking, tension, worry in their feelings. They want to make a move here and they're planning a strategy and trying to take things seriously. But this is an illusion. This is a fantasy and it's deceptive. And they know that you've moved on. It says finality, dead end, transformation, choosing to walk away. But this person's still in fantasy land because they're hurt. Mm-hmm. And I just saw drowning rock bottom. So these people are. They're getting they're hitting rock bottom right now. We got boundaries, drawing the line, fed up, final straw, something must change. Confusion, conflicted, tricky situations, hard to figure out. So this person still can't figure it out. It's like the boundaries up, back the fuck off. And then happy single, not looking for love, focus on goals, trusting the journey. And that's when you meet this person, I feel. This person that you're going to be love struck with because you're going to be in tune. You're not in the labyrinth with these other demons. Yeah, and now they're stressed from their mistakes. And they want to try to come in with some bad news and probably get a handout. Okay, but it's not happening. We got bad news, sending the wrong message, wishful thinking, and stress, mistakes, uncomfortable. So they know. They know that they did the wrong thing, especially if they were trying to do magic or manipulate your energy. They're screwed, okay? They are. Now, when I say magic, I do feel too, it's someone just setting an intention towards you on the daily, especially when they're watching and they see your glow up and what you got going on and that you're blessed. It says new love, renewal of love, new beginning, death of the old ways, past life connection, exes, old friends, past life influences, and soul contracts. And you are so in tune from this. These people were holding you back or trying to. And in a past life, these same people were probably there doing the same shit. And they couldn't get you in this lifetime. Yeah, now they're trapped and stuck, holding back, blocked. Yep, they're having legal issues too. But you're having victory and success. Check it out. It says, trophy partner, jackpot winning, wanting to conquer, married, marriage, commitment, life partner. I feel like you've completed some kind of contract here, and this is where you're going. You're going towards your ten of cups and your ten of pentacles. It says, legal matters, courts, contract, marriage, divorce, or child support. So the people that were trying to play towards you aren't finding their divine match. They were probably wishing this on a connection for you as well or wishing that someone wouldn't commit to you, but they are. So... <laughs> 
Jokes on them. All right, before we go to um, all signs, we're going to pull a few more cards here. So let's start with your divine. Actually, I'm going to go here. What is coming up for the collective? What do they need to know? And someone is very charming and sweet. They're going to be bringing you flowers. I see some of you having a bonfire this weekend. Just carefree time. All right. Make sure your profiles are private so people can't be open your shit. All right. What does the collective need to know? We have the devil's domain. <laughs> oh my gosh. Obsession, addiction, and poor habits, codependency. The devil's going to take them down too. Strong to gold, alchemy, receiving what was lost, creating something out of nothing. Get it collective. We have on a pedestal, great admiration, idolizing and denying flaws, feeling that you're out of their league because you are. And then we have left out in the cold, scarcity mindset, ready to give up, emotional and material loss. So I feel like by winter, <laughs> I'm noticing this snow angel too. Um, which is taking me back to temperance, how they piss your angels off. Um, that's a wrap, okay? And then perfect match. Great chemistry, highly compatible, quick connection. At the bottom, we have explore the waters, sleepless nights, and complexities with religious factors. Yeah, all seeing eye. So if, like I said, if someone was doing this manipulation, voodoo, you still got a loyal companion and unconditional love and you're protected. So it says voodoo, manipulation, controlling, scheming, bad influences, the all-seeing eye. So if anyone was projecting this energy towards you, you transmuted it. It went right back. It's backfiring on them as we speak. We have religious factors here, spiritual lessons. Um, so again, you're protected by God. You're protected by your angels. Your intuition is very strong. And if they thought they could play with you, they got another thing coming. Now this person's going through a lot of complexities in their life. They're also upset that someone or people never commit to them. And they're losing sleep over this relationship that you're having. And it's because there is something better. And you kept your options open and you figured out what you really wanted. Okay? All right. Let's get your final message and then go to all signs for my loves. I hope you enjoyed this reading. It felt a lot more cohesive than the last one I did. The energies are aligning for sure. And luck is on your side as well, you guys. Money's coming in, new business opportunities. I feel like this is your best self right now. And you're going to feel it too. What is the advice for the collective today? What do you want them to know? Ooh, you got the lover's way. Oh, I love this. Okay. The lover's way. So it says, to love is to give without any expectation of return. It is a commitment of our time and attention and commitment to accept another as they are with no in spite ofs attached. It is the most selfless thing that we can do and it is calling to you now. It may seem like there's a better answer than love, that love does not apply to this situation in this moment, but it is not so. Love builds bridges, it mends broken hearts, it builds trust and sets you free. Regardless of who we are, where we are, and what we do, we all respond to the language of love. It is the true universal language. You guys, I love this for you today, the lover's way. And I am seeing someone's like bringing you flowers or they're wanting flowers. Okay. <laughs> so let's go over to... All signs. All right. Let me shuffle these and we will get into it. What does my collective need to know in love this week? What is coming up for them? What are the energies they need to be aware of in their love lives or with the people that are trying to come in? All right, Aries, you have enthusiasm. They feel butterflies. Excited to be with you tells everyone about you. And hopeful, they're opening themselves to love, allowing themselves to dream and plan because you give their life meaning. 
with start a new relationship. When someone leaves, it's because someone else is about to arrive. I like this for you. Leo, you've got life partner. Finding the one, feeling the eye turns to we, certainly in love. And message. They want to message you and explain everything to you, but they know they have to do right by you. And we have happy marriage. <laughs> the best romance is inside marriage. The finest love stories come after the wedding, not before. This person really wants to put a ring on it, Leo. Sad, you have sexual desires. Sex is more important. Every meeting turns sexual, constant sexual fantasies. And uprooting, they're leaving all that's familiar to them. A long-term relationship or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you. I smell an affair. And then we've got queen or king of the ball. Think and live like a king or a queen. They are not afraid to fail. Failure is another stepping stone to greatness. Interesting. Aquarius, you have immaturity, still discovering themselves, lacking emotional maturity, light and fun connection with overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. And then we have romantic love, a million feelings, a thousand thoughts, a hundred memories, everything because of one person you love. So they do love you a lot, but they, they're realizing they need to mature. Mm -hmm. Libras. You've got sacrifices, compromise, open-minded, flexibility, giving up something, and broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. And love at first sight. We don't meet people by accident. They're meant to cross our paths for a reason. So you're going to be meeting someone new, Libra. Gemini, we have codependence. Can't live without feeling. Feel worthless, useless, needed. I'm so sorry, I can't even say that. Feeling worthless and less needed, need each other for something. And power couple, they see that both of you have an equal exchange of power, which can make you unstoppable as a couple. So someone's very codependent, and I also am getting like comparing themselves to you and someone else. And then we got move forward. Sometimes we have to stop waiting for that person and instead find it in someone else. Yeah, they're still codependent on you and another person's relationship. If you look, she's staring at. And this could be a he or she, right? But they're watching you and your person. Capricorn, you have individuality. Have your own life, giving each other space, whole on your own. And temptation, each day it's harder and harder to resist, but they know in their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. Ooh wee. And then we have find true happiness. Happiness is measured by the amount of love that you impart and that you receive in return, which reminds me of the lover's way card. Um, Taurus, openness, emotionally vulnerable, acknowledging emotions, taking risks in love. And the player, the player lifestyle that wants to find everything they did has stopped looking so enticing after they met you. And then your oracle is love triangle. Don't let two men or women fall in love with you. It's not the sort of thing that ends well. Virgo, <coughs> excuse me, control, wanting to control you expects to expects you to cater to them silent treatment and ghosting and then we have back and forth they're trying to make sense of this connection but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes that's doing too much and then we've got meet someone special anyone can make you happy by doing something special but only someone special can make you happy without doing anything cancer you've got no games there's nothing hidden the real deal surrendering and mature approach with healing, they're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance to the connection. And then we have take a romantic trip. It doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you. Pisces, you got your worst. Brings out the worst in you. Act out of character. Facing your shadow self. And divine blueprint. They're going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life in this connection. And your oracle is forbidden love. Forbidden love is a love that can last a long time but hurt you the most. So there's someone that does bring out the worst in you, and this is someone that knows they're not supposed to try to come towards you, but I feel like someone new is coming in with the divine blueprint. Scorpio, you have got guarded, avoiding pain, pull away after getting close, superficial relationships, and the mask. They want to remove the mask they've been wearing and be brave enough to reveal their true feelings. So... <laughs> Maybe you're a little too guarded, Scorpio, and someone's like, do you love me or not? <laughs> and then we got to make a selfish decision. Sometimes in life, 
you have to make a selfish decision and do what's best for you. So I feel like Scorpio, you're, you're very protective over yourself right now, for sure. All right, what's at the bottom for everyone? Imbalance. Triggering unhealthy behavior, unstable emotions, insecure attachment. This is that person, I'm telling you, or people from the past. There's an emphasis on Christmas, too. You see those reindeer antlers? Or even New Year's. Disrespect. Talks down to you, doesn't respect your boundaries, and they do inconsiderate things. And the guilt trip. Pressures you to have sex, always giving in to having sex, and expects sex all the time. Yeah, this is that demon energy we saw earlier. Yeah, they see that they're, they're getting impatient. It says now or never attitude, moving too quickly. And you have a spiritual connection where you have this telepathic or deep heart space connection with someone. And they're a karmic, a karmic cycle, a lesson that needs to be learned. And their unresolved past life issues create these blocks and imbalances. And that's why they're so disrespectful. And they're just disrespecting themselves, to be honest. And they're probably getting with a karmic that does the same to them. Oh, wow. As I said that, it says their toxic friendships are creating distance between you two, preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Coming apart, meeting you was unexpected. You changed their whole world forever, feeling lost as they lose their old identity. And dark side, they have a dark side that no one knows and feels it's their true side, but too afraid to show you. So I that someone has like deep sexual addictions as well, and they don't know how to like deal with that. At the bottom... We have love is a fire. You've set their heart on fire and the soul ever burning and unquenchable. It's a natural and undeniable connection. And then this energy of betrayal, their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better. And despite the distance between you, they still feel the energetic cords that's keeping you two connected. I feel like that's in their head. It's an illusion because remember we saw that tethered one card and it's like spirits like, uh, uh, no, get out of here. The wheel of change is coming for these people. It says, reflect on your actions. Time decides who you meet in your life. Your heart decides who you want in your life. And your behavior decides who stays in your life. So with these toxic energies, these imbalances, this drinking, this partying, this person starting to see that's what you're attracting. That's what you get, dummy. Then we have dangers of a lustful relationship here. Lust is a tool, desire, a trap. Wield the first. You can take someone's soul, fall into the second. They can take yours. So they're coming apart. And I'm noticing these fall leaves. So this could be happening right now where... They're in a connection where they feel disrespected or they're in a lustful connection and they're still fantasizing about you. And then we have be calm in your love. Love is like a butterfly. It goes where it pleases and it pleases where it goes. And I get that with this dark side and the always needing sex or pressuring someone into sex. It's like, no, just tell this person no. But I do feel like this is the past energy of someone around you who is starting to see that this is what they do to themselves. And then at the bottom, we have take a decision when you meet someone or no, when you repeat a mistake, it's not a mistake anymore. It's a decision. Someone's craving you. There's nothing more beautiful on earth than pure love. And there's nothing so blighting as lust. So it's like they see that you have pure love coming in or that you are pure love, but they're a very lustful person. And then act immediately when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with somebody you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible and you are you're looking towards this new love and this new love is looking towards you collective and notice the flowers someone's going to be very romantic towards you this weekend but yeah someone is craving you now okay <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this reading please don't forget to hit like and subscribe i love 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 you bye